Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the speed run, let me know in the comments below and hit the like button while you're at it. And I'm really excited to share with you guys the build I did for the AX52 for level 9999 or known as level cap in Warframe because the AX52 is the first weapon from the update 1999 we get our hands on. And this is the Arthur uh, Proto Excalibur uh, signature weapon, all right? So this weapon, you can take it only if you watched the Tanukon and you got your Twitch drop. Right now, it's not available in the game, even for Platinum. So we have to wait. The E will release it as a Baruki tier uh, drop or it's going to be farming or event or it's just going to come with the update 1999. Let's go. And the way we're going to test this is using Excalibur rank 1. No Archon Shards, no Helmet Ability and no Mods and no Aura and no Arcanes and not even a Companion. Let me know in the comments below if you like this style of testing. So like I keep it in mind for the upcoming video. So here we are level 225 Thrax Centurion Steel Path. As you can see, the weapon does a very nice amount of damage without any external buffs or viral or whatever. Let's go. Now, landing headshots will activate the unique trait for the amazing red crits. So, simple. Now, let's add some viral and armor stripping and we check the difference that it makes. Now, adding Panzer Buffaila, this is the build in case you want a build for it. And then we got the Uniro for armor stripping. We're gonna start first with the Viral. All right, let's go, Panzer. Show them some love, baby. Okay, here we go. Come on, which one you choose to start with? Let's go, baby. Let's go, let's go. All right, he chose this guy. Three stacks of Viral only. Five, seven. All right, whatever. Here we go. You can already see how much it does increase the damage against HP. We all know Viral, how powerful it is and how meta it is. That's why they didn't dare to touch it. People will be upset. All right. Who else? Who else? Who else? This one? Let's go. Boom. Now, what if we add some armor stripping and to see the difference? There we go. Armor stripping this guy. Come on, baby. Show them some love. Huh? Yeah. We're getting there, baby. We're getting there. This guy's armor stripped as well. Let's go. 10 stacks of viral and armor strip. Now, DE tricked you on the update of statue rework that you think that armor matters. Armor doesn't matter even if it's capped at 2700s. Even if it's capped at 100, it doesn't matter. What matters is every enemy have a damage reduction when you proc stacks of corrosive on it, you lower the damage reduction. That what matters, not the armor. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're gonna add some uh, spice or salt in top. We're gonna put a rifle aura in there for increasing uh, your damage. And then we're gonna put uh, primary acceleration for fire rate and then we're gonna put primary rage for headshot 15% increase 180% damage all right you see you see where we're getting in here yeah so removing these guys adding these new guys and armor stripping all right 
And now our puns profiler should do the job of viral. Here we go. And mamma mia. Yep, yep. It's getting where you want it to be. Let's go, baby. Let's go. This guy doesn't even have viral on him. Armor stripped. Still dies. There you go. Come on. There you go. This one has it. Mm. Let's show them some power, baby. 1999. Simple as that. Now, Hank. This is the way we play. Yes, you can just go this way and you're good to go. But we like to advance things a bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a different frame and we up the game a notch. This we're going to use Nidus at two levels. First, we're going to be using two Emerald Darkon Chars to armor strip enemies without relying on your Nairo. So you can use Madurai to take down the Thrax second form easy as this. Okay, the other Archon Chars you can use whatever you want. For the Helmet ability, we're going to be using Nourish. So, we don't rely on our Panzer Pafaila because we will be using our Nautilus. Why? Because Nautilus will pull enemies with Cordon and more with Manifold. Tenacious Bond to increase our critical damage and more to it. Full clock for our Vigilante Armand set. You see where we're going in here, yeah? So, I want you to understand and learn how synergies work in Warframe. Okay, so... First test is going to be like that. Second test, we're going to be using uh, our Nidus teaming Virulence. Virulence Augment hitting four enemies with Virulence grants 120% primary weapon critical chance. I don't like to use this because you will see the weapon performing just with Nidus how good it is. But just for testing, okay? You don't have to. Let's just see how powerful this can uh, be. Alright, let's go. Doing the same thing. Activating Nourish. God bless this guy. Look at that. Alright, so now the weapon itself... The more you damage, the more it will stack corrosive. And when it reaches 14, it will armor strip. But the good part is that it's going to be armor stripping constantly until it reaches 14. Means it's going to be like 1, 10, 12, 14. And the damage will scale accordingly. Look at that. Simple as that. You can see the difference. You can see how smooth the damage is and how powerful this becomes just by switching some synergy here and there. Even the damage, 88,000 slashes and all, very, very good. Now, what you're going to do, I'm going to show you the build for the Thrax or Cascade that I do. There you go. So, critical delay for the critical chance and minus fire rate. Vital sense for critical damage. Galvanized aptitude for statue chance and on kill. 40% direct damage per statue type affecting the target. Malignant force for toxin statue chance. High voltage for electricity statue chance because we're building for corrosive. Greenier, Kuva Greenier. And negative multiplicative against sentient. We don't fight them much, really. It doesn't matter. Galvanized chamber for multi shot and more multi shot on kills. Serration for damage. Hand termination applying slash on critical hits. 30% chance. Okay. Vigilante supplies and the primary dead head. Primary dead head is really good for cascade as you're going to want to land headshots all the time. And it reduces the recoil and gives you the precision headshot kill. 120% damage for 24 seconds. Stacks up to three times. It gives you the opportunity to move from like uh, exolizer to another simple as that okay so the weapon powerful ready to go now if you want to use this weapon to for example against some kind of faction what you want to do is switch serration with primed bane mods now if you're going against corrupted which we will you're going to be using orokin if you're going against greenier you're going to be using greenier corpus corpus and so on and we're going to go to that in a second so for our case here we're going to be using it against uh, some corrupted gunners so we'll just summon a heavy corrupted gunners there we go 20 of them activating nourish and let's go boom 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 it's christmas baby Let's go. Oh, they want to gather. Okay, so let's gather them and using the teaming virulence now. All right. Boom. Red crits all day long, baby. Red crits all day long. Look at that. Reloading. Mamma mia. See? Now, teaming virulence is just for testing. Okay, so what we can do, we can just get rid of Nidus now. And we can just use uh, Revenant. Right? Let's go with Revenant. Then going Murmur Primary, using Nourish as always, Acceleration Rage, and removing Shotgun for a Rifle. You guessed it right, my friend. There you go. Now, we want to use Vigorous Swap. When you switch between weapons, you increase your damage for 3 seconds. And of course, we're going to be using 2 Emerald Dark on Shards. Go. Swapping between weapons. Landing Headshot is really important. We're going to talk about the trade in a second. Okay. Simple as that. I didn't even use nourish. Get the point. So 
The trait of the AX-52 is hip fired shots have 60% ammo efficiency, aimed headshots have a 400% critical chance and that's what you want. Okay, so now if you want to fight some corpus, what you're going to do, we're going to mod the weapon for toxin. It has increased multiplicative damage against Narmar, but doesn't matter, it doesn't have a negative multiplicative against Corpus, so Toxin still uh, the king of kings against Corpus. Uh, as you can see, we just switched frame, prime the Bane mode of Corpus, Serration, Malignant Force, Vital Sense, Aptitude, Hunter Munition, and so on. Alright, Primary Dead Head, you name it. Go! Let's summon, uh, for example, Corpus Group. Go, level 225 steel path as always activating nourish as any enemy in the game have health right there we go purpose goodbye baby they don't stand a chance look at that mm. now of course with the revenant you can use the thrall pack to increase your damage but we're not gonna do that for this video now if you want for example you can go blast Right now, Blast got a bit rework. Blast deals 30% of damage after 1.5 seconds as an explosion. At 10 stacks or on death, stacks deal their damage simultaneously to enemies within 5 meter while staggering them. So, this is the build for it. Let's go. Let's that against uh, uh, some enemies. But let's see what faction we're using. Okay, we're going for the Orokin, so we're gonna go Corrupted. Let's summon some heavy Corrupted Gunners. Go. Now, this like more for the Thanos who really want to try uh, a lot of things, okay? Some Thanos already took the build and uh, disappeared already now. They are building their weapon with Elite Deep, not Elite Deep, Archimedia, on Elite Sanctuary. There we go. Now, let's test this out. Activating Nourish. Plus. Now, of course, you can, for example, use Magus Anomaly to gather in enemies. That's really good, but Nautilus will do that for you, as you can see. Now Blast will affect the others, and so on and so on and so on. Now, I really like the Blast builds when in like beam weapons or weapons that actually does some AoE, but just for the sake of the statue rework and your curiosity, there you go. Got it for you, baby. Simple as that. Alright, now, what else we got in here? Let's check. Let's check. What else we got in here? Now, this build would be crit, means we're going to trying to push the crit to maximum using Galvanized Chamber and Aptitude, and this time will be Scope. On Headshot, 130% critical chance when aiming for 12 seconds. On Headshot Kill, 40% critical chance when aiming for 12 seconds stacks up to 5 times. And that what we want. Let's go! Summoning some uh, Corrupted again, activating Nourish, and let's go. Now, as you can see, red crits already, and the more we kill, and we need to be aiming, alright? Aiming is really important. As you can see, we push the tier of crit so freaking high. Look at that, 201,000. Really good, guys. Really, really good. Now, remember, puncture is really good against Corpus, in case you want to use this weapon uh, against uh, Corpus. Uh, now, if you don't like, for example any of my method on armor stripping or my method on using viral i left you this sheet so you can just picture it and put it on your pc it will be very helpful for you all right to try different things on how to armor strip proc viral and so on um, by this we reach the end of the video i'm really excited and waiting for the update 1999 i really hope you like the ax52 let me know in the comments below if you're going to build the weapon and what's your rating on this weapon i would rate this weapon uh, six and a half out of ten but we will see on the update how it performs. And I hope DE let us use our build AX52 on Arthur when the update comes out to take down every single enemy, not the stock one. And thank you guys. Join our Discord link in the description. Likes up. And see you guys uh, next time. I am not a king. I am not a god. I am Humphrey.